Congratulations on the purchase of your new wall tent from Davis Tent and Awning. Let's start by taking inventory on what you have received. Included with the traditional pole system will be the following. The wall poles. The wall poles will be the smallest diameter pole in your bag. The number you received will vary depending on the size of tent that you have purchased. A bag of stakes with both long and short stakes. A number of uprights. Uprights are a two-piece pole. The top half will have a pin on it and the bottom half has a cap. The number of uprights also varies with the size of tent you have. The ridge pole, generally in three pieces, has a series of holes drilled in it. You will have a number of eye bolts and a carrying case. The first thing we need to do to set up our tent is make sure the door is zip closed. Then at the bottom of the tent we would stake the four corners down nice and square right where we want the tent to be when we're done. If you are going to be using a wood stove, you need to roll up and tie the stove jack flap. Take your time and tie it up securely. We do not want it to come loose and blow over against the stove pipe. Now we need to install the eye bolts. To do this, unwind the nut, drop it down into the grommet, wind the nut back on. Notice we've already tied the ropes to the eye of the eye bolt. We only do this step the first time we set the tent up. From here on out we just fold it up with the tent and leave the eye bolts attached to the tent. Next we will be installing the corner wall poles. One of the most common questions we receive on our tents is about the rope slips. The key to making them work is to grab the rope between the two holes and pull until you get a loop. Make the loop larger and larger. This loop will be what goes around your tent stake. To install the corner wall pole, simply slide it over the bottom half of the eye bolt and the bottom of the wall pole sets over the tent stake at the bottom. You will notice that we have provided enough rope for you to have two ropes at the four corners. Once again, the loop we made in the rope goes over the stake. You slide the rope key up until it gets tension, and you let go. You want to position your stakes so you achieve both downward tension and outward tension, somewhere about three foot from the bottom of the tent. next step is to install the ridge pole. We need to unzip the tent. Remember the ridge pole is generally in three pieces. It has a series of holes in it. Notice that as we build the ridge pole, we're sliding it in towards the back of the tent at the same time. We just put it together at the door and slide it in. There is not a front and a back to the ridge pole, so if you get it together, it's right. The only exception to that is if you have an awning or a cook shack, then generally they are color coded. So after you get the ridge pole slid in, you grab an upright with a long pin, a top and a bottom, and you crawl inside the tent. I think it's easier to do the back one first. Notice the pin coming out through the grommet at the tent in the back. You'll get a good visual on that when she comes out and does the front upright. The front upright will install the same way the back one does. You get an upright with a long pin in the bottom half. And as Caitlin is setting the tent up, notice that she works the uprights from the side. That is what you want to do. The long pin goes through the hole that's drilled in the end of the ridge pole. Look at the shadow here and you'll see it clearly. 
then at the top of the tent, there will be a grommet that goes over the, the remaining portion of that pin. So you fish around until you find the grommet and set it over the pin as well. bottom half of the upright goes into the top half. Notice she's working the uprights from the side to side. That's important. It allows the ridge pole to spin inside of itself so you prevent bending your pins at the top of the, the upright. Now she's going to tie the doors open and I'm going to follow her inside the tent and you can watch her install the last upright. Most sizes of tents will only have one upright in the middle. Some of the larger tents will have two or three depending on the size of the tent. The middle upright poles have a short pin. come into the tent to install the middle uprights, the hole is not always on bottom as it is here. Sometimes you'll have to knock a front upright out and twist the pole at the top to get the holes to align. Stand the uprights up nice and straight. Now to finish the tent, all we need to do is install the remaining wall pole. Once again you slide the top of the wall pole over the bottom half of the eye bolt, over the stake at the bottom. The way the rope slips work, grab the rope between the holes, make a loop. That loop is what goes over the stake. Slide the key up towards the tent until it gets tension and then let go. The more tension you get on the rope slips, the better they work. The easiest way to obtain this tension is put one hand on top of the wall pole and the eye bolt, the other on the rope slip, pull with one hand, push with the other. We turned the camera off and repeated the process on the remaining wall poles. Every couple days you want to come by and check the ropes and make sure they're maintaining tension. Yeah! Great job, sweetie. As far as maintenance on your tent, it all boils down to one thing. Store it dry when you're finished with it. If it's wet when you break camp, get it home, open it up in the garage, set it back up, but make sure it's dry when you store it.